It is a snow day. Let me show you what it looks like. It's really beautiful. Since it's like a snow day and we can't really do much today, we started doing a little bit of a cleanup in the living room because this couch is kind of a headache a lot of times. So I thought that this could be a good time since we just cleaned everything up to give you like a quick update on the couch. I know I had recorded a vlog when we first got it and we were like so happy with it. And we've had it for about a year now. And I wanted to give an update of how we like it and just like some general thoughts. Let's get to it. As a reminder, here is our couch. This is the Cloud Couch by Restoration Hardware. It is modular and we got two corners two armless, and one ottoman. First things first, because this is actually quite hilarious. It's actually quite hilarious that I did this. Never noticed it, like literally never noticed it until like months later. And then I was like, oh, I messed up this order. So most cloud couches are square. They have a square arm. So if you're looking into which one you should get, I can really only speak to the slope arm because that is the one that we have here. It makes it look, I guess, more like a regular sofa, whereas maybe the other one has more of that distinct cloud look. Maybe this has that, I don't know, you tell me. But that's the first thing that I wanna say was my bad. I don't know if that's gonna cause a problem when I try to like sell it at some point ever if we don't want it anymore or what, but it doesn't really impact us too much. I think it just like gives it a different look and we like laugh about it. We literally never talk about it or notice it ever here because it feels very comfortable and we're really happy about that. So that's one thing. Okay, so a couple of things that piss us off about this couch. They move and like they don't connect great. I mean, that could be like with any modular couch. This is the first time we ever had a modular sofa, so we don't really know if that's like everything, but like they connect through on each one of these things here and they move so much, so easy. We just like reconnected everything and it looks really good right now because we just spent so much time just redoing it again. We leave it for a while and just not touching it and like the chair, this one's like way back, this one's forward, they're like all over because they're just such a pain, okay? Also, the things, the little legs on them scratched up our floor so much. Honestly, I don't know if I can even see anything, which is nice, <laughs> but underneath here, is a gigantic, it just scratches every time it moves. So that's annoying too. So we tried to really make sure to keep at least some of it on the rug. Otherwise, they can move easier. So that was like something that we try to fix to try to keep them from not moving. Because if they're just on the straight wood floor, then I feel like every time you just go to like sit down in them, it just like pushes it. So that's something that's really annoying. We got the perennial fabric in white overall it's held up pretty good i mean like it still looks super white you can tell that some things are like a little bit not as white i think that we should get this professionally cleaned uh actually kind of soon but we do a lot of living on this we spend a lot of time on this couch. I mean, it's really the only place to sit in the house. We sit here a lot of the time and watch TV. This one I just sat in, so that's why it looks this way. It's true what they say, you know, like the thing is always a mess looking. So like, if that's not your vibe, then like, this is not for you. I do think this is like a very much lounging couch. If you're watching a movie and everything, it's like really nice. But if you're like trying to sit and have a conversation, I do feel like this is not the space for it. I was always wanting to build out like another room over there to be more of like a gathering, have a drink, sit around and chat. 
because like here I don't want really people drinking red wine obviously with the white rug and the white couch so that's kind of something that's not great it's also super low and back so like Peter's parents don't like sitting on it because they need something more like upright so chairs we need to get something like that here to help. And that's also something that's kind of annoying. Some things that we've noticed for this one, I believe, we got one of these corners replaced. And it was because this bottom part here looked so sunken in. And like it still does. I don't remember which one we got replaced. It was so sunken in and we have just got the couch and it was kind of BS because this couch is extremely expensive. And honestly, if I can go back, I was like, I want the real one. We should get the cloud couch. We love it. I convinced Peter. He's like obsessed with it too. Honestly, if I could go back, I would probably get one of like the dupes or one of the ones that like look super similar because this is an expensive couch. And I just feel like why spend that much and just get one that looks just like it? I feel like it probably does the same. So that's my thought around that. Ottoman we love. We usually have it connected. Right now I have it separate from the couch, but usually it's like in front of one of them. And we've contemplated a lot about getting a second ottoman to make this just like a really big lounging thing. But again, like this is like what we do. We come here, we lounge, and we watch like TV movies, whatever, bravo, you know. The difference between the slope arm too is that this is hard you know whereas the one with the square is very mushy like this like this is what it feels like on there so again i have no idea how this happened i didn't even know they sold this learn from me double check the one that you're gonna order if you're gonna order it uh let's see let's see anything else i guess i could give you links to dupes and other couches i feel like that probably makes sense what couch would I have purchased if it wasn't gonna be this one and it was gonna be a dupe? Like if I had to do it again. I'll give you probably a list of some of them. I'll do some research, I'll do a little bit of work and try and look into some that I would actually purchase. And then I'll link them here for you guys. Cause honestly, I just recommend that. This is too much, it's too much money. And then you're like a freak about the couch, which like I'm a freak about it. I mean, maybe if you got a different color, we got white and I don't regret that. I love the white, it's like stark. Stunning. Like look how beautiful it is. It's just so nice. That I think is everything that I have to say about that. If we ever got something on it, literally used water to try and get it out, it's come out pretty well. So the perennial fabric is actually really, really good. Look at Peter out there. Snow plowing. Like, where is he going? Like, we don't live over there. Like, that's someone else's house. He's so cute. Really embracing the homeowner vibe anyway that's it that's the update i guess i'll give you just a quick little update of like what our living room looks like because why not so we have this beautiful plant <laughs> this is a cat palm and this was outside in the summer it's an outside planter and it looks really good here i love it brings a little bit of like here we have our sono surround sounds a little lamp Another little RH lamp here. These are really fun, really cute. It has this little thing where you can just go like this. I uh, got this from CB2. This is something from our old apartment that is still here, I don't know why. And our beautiful mantle. This part, I'm like so happy. These are, this is one of my favorite things about the apartment. I mean, things about the living room. This mirror just looks so stunning here. I love it, it looks so good. It's a vintage mirror from a vintage reseller online. I'll put the handle. And then love the snake plant from the sill. A little wedding photo, love it. With all my plants around us, it's so funny that like I did that then because that was before I was a plant crazy person. And then this is from CB2 and this is something that Peter's mom gave us. It's a poem that she wrote. It's really beautiful. My other favorite piece here is the TV. No, I'm just kidding. It's the console. This console is so stunning. Like so, so beautiful. It's also vintage. We found this at a place in Connecticut when we were visiting our friends who live up there and it's a vintage travertine so so beautiful and then this like iron and it's just like 
This piece I want to be with us for all of our lives. So, so nice. Same thing with the mirror. All my vintage pieces I love so much. The Sonos, I forgot what this thing's called. Oh. <laughs> Nala heard her little paw. <laughs> we had to get that replaced this morning in this snowstorm and it was not fun. And then the last thing I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna talk about this TV because we got the TV and I did a whole, I did a vlog on it. That's why I'm gonna talk about it. So this is actually, um, I really like this TV. This one we also spent a lot of money on. It's a Sony, whatever, I can't remember the name, but it's so good. I would do it again. It's so, so good. And then always like invest in getting the wires hidden. 100% love that. So this is the little living room. Oh, and this rug I think is new too. I don't know if we've, if I've vlogged this rug. This rug is from, I got on Etsy. It's a Moroccan rug and it's so nice. I love Moroccan rugs. I got another one upstairs in my one of my rooms and it's so, so nice. I highly recommend going on Etsy and finding a Moroccan rug. They take forever to ship, but once you get it, it's so nice. Like, highly recommend getting them. A little living room update. Hoped you liked it. 